Today we're going to be looking at finding the angle sum of a polygon. So first of all, looking at that angle sum. Remember, sum is addition, so our angle sum is going to be all of the interior angles of the polygon added together. So in order to find angle sum, we're going to use the formula A is equal to 180 times N minus 2. So note, when a number is by parentheses, that lets us know that we need to apply multiplication. So in this formula, A equals 180 times N minus 2. A stands for the angle sum, and N stands for the number of sides. So looking at our first polygon, which is a triangle, we note that a triangle has one, two, three different sides. So we start off with our original formula. Then we're going to substitute in a 3 for the N because a triangle has three sides. Then we can do what's in the parentheses first. So 3 minus 2 is 1 and 1 times 180 is equal to 180. So the angle sum of any triangle is going to be 180 degrees. Next we have a quadrilateral, or what may seem more familiar to you is a square in this example. So once again we start off with our original formula, A equals 180 times N minus 2. Substitute in the number of sides, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we can do 4 minus 2, which is equal to 2, and 2 times 180, which is equal to 360 degrees. Note that even though this one is a square, if it was a rectangle or any other quadrilateral for that matter, any quadrilateral or four-sided figure would be 360 degrees. Next we have a pentagon, so notice we're starting off with the formula again. Counting the number of sides, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, substituting in the 5 for the n. Next, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. 180 times 3 is equal to 540 degrees. So any five-sided figure would have 540 degrees as the angle sum. For the last one, we have an octagon, which has eight sides. I would like you to take some time now to work on this one to find the angle sum of the octagon. So hopefully going through your work to solve the angle sum for an octagon, you started out with your formula, A equals 180 times N minus 2. You substituted in the 8 for the N because an octagon does have 8 sides. Then you computed 8 minus 2, which is equal to 6, and 180 times 6 is equal to 1,080 degrees. So here were some examples for how to find angle sum. You can use this formula up here again for any polygon, no matter how many sides it has, and it can help you find the angle sum. I hope this video helped you. Have a great day.